Filmmaking is a sport. And that got me thinking, what kind of a sports person would I be? Is it too early to ask that question? I don't know. When it comes to football and cricket, there are certain rules which make them different from the other games, right? You can't kick a ball in cricket and you can't wrestle someone in chess. What rules does filmmaking have? Or to better put it, what makes a story? By extension, what does not count as a story? So I'm going to call some people and ask them what they think about the question. I just hope it picks up. Alright. Uh, listen, I'm shooting a vlog. Listen, I'm uh, shooting a vlog. Okay. And you're on camera. And uh, I'm just recording this call. I'm shooting this call right now. Acha, listen, uh, I have a question for you. What is a story? Uh, what makes a story? A start, a middle, and an end. I think a story is something that you remember. Something that happened in your head. Experiences make a story. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Oh, chill, thanks. That works. Ciao. Yeah. Alright, so let's search on YouTube for some examples. So this clearly has a start, middle and an end. This is a story. This is an example of something he remembers. This is a story. So this entire thing happened in JK Rowling's head. So this is a story. This is a story of how to make a vlog. This is a story about whether this is the most underrated phone right now. This is a story of his desk setup. This is a story of how to make a smoothie. These are small stories of people falling. This is also a story. This is also a story. This is also a story. So, what would be my story? And really, what kind of a sports person would I be? What I mean by that is, what kind of a filmmaker would I be? And for some reason, I was being evasive about this question. And there were these certain hindrances I had in my life, which made me think way too much. And which made me not do. That's it. And there are these two or three factors which have been there. Consistency. Will I be consistent enough and will I be able to keep doing this? I mean, what if I stop at some point? And even if I do, will I be able to do this consistently well? Or will I just falter and exhaust my creativity? And these questions bothered me a lot more than the technical questions. Almost everyone today has a phone. I mean, if you're watching this video, you have a phone. Or some sort of a screen. I mean, I'm not famous enough to be on television, so... And most of the phones today can shoot and edit. Even six, seven years back, you could shoot on a phone and edit, but it wasn't as feasible as it is today. Back to the story. So what I realized now, that in those six, seven years, I wasn't going to answer any of my questions by simply wondering and pondering over them. We think of doing things in a certain way. We imagine them without problems. And, and even if we imagine problems, they are perfect problems with perfect solutions. And life is not perfect. Which brings me to the third factor. Is that I was too scared of just doing it. Afraid of failing? Yeah, maybe. But also, what if my concepts and my reality, despite being tangible, were not achievable by me. And that's still there. It's not gonna go anywhere. I'm still gonna feel those things. I'm still gonna think about those things. But sitting and running those simulations in my head, which again, I'll still be doing. At least I can run and execute this one possibility that I have in my hand. I might think differently in the months and years to come, but by cataloging this experience of doing and just doing, I get to see my own attempts and reflect better. Too often than not, we forget our past selves and the way we thought back then. We might retain the bigger picture, but the devil is in the detail. To quote the 11th Doctor, and this is my imitation of him, We all change. When you think about it, we are all different people, all through our lives. And that's good, that's okay, you gotta keep moving. So long as you remember all the people that you used to be. Coming back to the main question, what kind of a sports person would I be? What kind of a filmmaker? What kind of a sports person would I be? The one who does. This might be a little preachy. And I don't want it to sound like that, but... And I have absolutely no idea what's the point of this video. 
I mean, apart from the fact that I'm cataloging my experience of doing and just doing. I just wanted to get this out. So, yeah. Yeah. Like, share and subscribe. And as always, cut. <laughs>